fucked your brother. I fucked him in the By ass. the way, guys, it's almost home workout month, uh, June, in honor of Chris Benoit. <laughs> <laughs> did the ultimate home workout. <laughs> Sponsored by Bowflex Total Gym. God damn, dude. Yeah. That was a big... We were laughing about that at the live show I was, last I night. was saying this morning to Amber um, that, they're, you know, they did the OJ series, American Crime mm-hmm. Story, and they did the John Bonet one. There has to be a dramatic 10-part series <laughs> on the Chris oh, Benoit movies, yeah. dude. You just find all actors that look exactly like Chris yeah. Benoit. Fuck yes. You know, one that looks a, a lot, exactly like Chris Jericho. Yep. And then you could just get Jericho. You could just get Jericho. Jericho's around. He's yeah. available. <laughs> he fancies himself an actor. He did, he did people talking sports. Did he? Yeah, yeah. He's but, a cool guy, right? Yeah. yeah. He's charismatic. Uh, well, anyways, about. you get him to do a dramatic series about the death of his colleague. And, uh, yeah, that would be a great... I would watch the shit out of that. That would Absolutely. be the series of the summer. 100%. And you know what? I don't know what how optioning the story works or what's <laughs> legal in terms of doing that shit, but I might write a little spec and pitch it to my, well, technically, to my agency that doesn't speak to me anymore. <laughs> technically, <laughs> no one... I, I, I know it cost uh, that company $6 million <laughs> with my cum podcast, but what do you think about this? <laughs> uh, just a little quick treatment. This guy murdered his family with wrestling moves a what decade you, ago. And they In the same them. vein as the John Benet Ramsey series, we do a series about a man with CTE murdering his family <laughs> and yeah. then hanging himself in the <laughs> My man no, oh, no. Straight to voicemail? Okay. <laughs> My man Crippler cross-faced his son to death, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that yeah. is a literal finishing move. Well, technically, yeah. you would do him. <laughs> if he killed his entire family, then no one owns his estate then, right? Ooh, I'm pretty sure. Right. I'm I was for, nearly a lawyer. I'm for grass. That's right. So that means that the story you could just use. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you don't have to pay anyone. Or yeah, you probably don't have to if it's a public story and they're public figures. Why? Why wouldn't you be able? to? I guess so. we can do the unlicensed story. Yeah, Cr- Crams Benoit. Did they have to pay anyone to do the OJ s- series? I think I don't know. A lot of oh, the times, people question. just find a book and then they they option the book. Ah, they must have written a book about it. Let's option that. Yeah. Let's start our own studio. Yeah. yeah. Let's go bankrupt with <laughs> every cent we make on Patreon. On Chris ben- well, why don't I just write the Chris Benoit book and then I option it for myself? Now nah, you're fucking Then thinking. you can pay yourself double. I get, Brother. I pay, I get double yeah, the money. They get now. double money. Yep. I get a book advance and then I option it and I need extra money from the book publisher mm-hmm. to option my own mm-hmm. story. Mm-hmm. And then That's a good idea. It's coming together. I yeah. like that. How about this? We start our own fucking publisher. How about firm. this? I kill my own family and myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. That <laughs> way it's my story. It's your story. And then... I would be fictionalized my story yeah. as a man named Chris Benoit, That's who's perfect. not related to the original Chris <laughs> yeah, Benoit. They don't own it's that based name. on my story. Right. It's a man who happens to be or, named Chris Benoit, this? but it's the story about me. You, but you gotta legally name. change your name. Oh, yeah, you I legally change my name. Kill Chris your family. Benoit. We found it, boys. Right. Yeah. We found the legal. We <laughs> okay, you gotta start a family, right? You gotta like, let them grow up for like. Gosh, seven. you get in here. <laughs> no, don't don't make that joke. Okay. Don't make that joke. What do you mean? Don't make that joke. Just don't make She's gonna be a millionaire, dude. Well, no, she'll be dead, I guess. Yeah. Who, Dasha? Yeah, she'll we'd have to kill her and yeah. the child. Yeah. Shit, who are we gonna make? Who are we gonna find? Uh, we'll I guess. I mean, I guess Nick can get the married. The Chris to- Benoit story, the true story of professional wrestler Nick Mullen. That's, that's the title. <laughs> right. Okay. You also need a WWE you have to become, contract. Yeah. yeah. You have to become intercontinental. So you need champion. to. Okay. So no, you we need start to go- our own WWE. Uh, wait, wait. Hold on. What's the t- so opening scene in the Chris Benoit movie, he's in an exercise uh, equipment store and he's looking over all of like the bow flexes uh-huh. and stuff. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, he's like the salesman's talking to him and he's like, yeah, 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 this is this one. And then we just see like he's like going over the features and then from Benoit's perspective, his ears start ringing mm-hmm. and he's like zoning out. Yeah. And he doesn't really know what's happening. Mm-hmm. You know? Oh, yeah. That like high pitch. Like, then he like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he like comes back and the guy's like, Mr. Benoit. Mr. Benoit, and he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Mm-hmm. They're like, are you okay? And he's like, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Title card. Right, yeah. You, you know, Perfect. boom, 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 uh-huh. boom, 
boom, you know, like the, mm -hmm. and then just pictures of wrestling moves superimposed yeah. in the background. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, I think you got young a, Chris Benoit with a long ass hair. Idris Elba, you know, title card. You, know, you got to yeah. open on a cold open, which is the crime, right? And then you got to spend the entire 10 episodes. Yeah, no, the 911 call. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I went over here to check on my friend. <laughs> Wait, did, did another wrestler find him dead? Uh, I don't yeah, think so. For yeah. this, for this, for this, this for this, for this, yeah, yeah, Hulk yeah, Hogan yeah. found it. All right, yeah, yeah. I like that. Macho like that. Man found yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me a second. I got to <laughs> snap into a Slim Jim. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Elizabeth. Yeah. <laughs> Hell, yeah, dude. Um, okay, so... So that's okay. I like that. You got you have him like zoning out. You can tell that he has a. I want to play Yokozuna in. I'm gonna be in yellow face. Okay, right, yeah, we're yeah. Let's pass it right now, dude. Come on, let me be. We got to break this story. No, no, yeah, yeah. Let's 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 come up with an arc for the for <laughs> yeah. ten episodes, right? Okay. right? So the cold open is most important, and then yeah, we can probably bang out Act One before we need to take a break for. This, guys, this is now a writer's room <laughs> podcast. That's fine. If you want any, because look, I am a professional television That's writer. Right. If you guys want to see what it's like this to is be the process. in the zone with me when I'm on the fucking clock, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. when I'm not goofing off with my boys on a stupid podcast, yeah. this is how it works. Uh, Adam, go get the index cards. Yeah, I got I'm that. Go ahead and start putting holes in your wall. Though. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I, can you just set up an entire like whiteboard system? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get that whiteboard you know paint. We, you know what we need? Some Lacroix and goldfish. Okay, I got Lacroix. Yeah. So LaCroix. let's let's take a minute, and we're gonna spend the next 20 minutes writing down our favorite Lacroix flavors, <laughs> and then we'll give that to the production assistant. <laughs> Which who is Adam? It is Adam? Well, um, yeah. As back to Chris Benoit. So okay, pilot episode. Get the flashback. 911 call. All right. Okay. So here's the book. It's called Chris and Nancy, The True Story of the Benoit Murder, Suicide, and Pro Wrestling's Cocktail of Death. Ooh. So we're going to go free sample. And if you just read the sample, you don't have to option the whole book. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's, it's true. available it to the public on Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. We'll the, this, I'm, I'm in, in a writer's room, what they call a maverick. You know, they call mm. me legal's worst nightmare. They call me a goose. <laughs> because I like to... Instead of doing my I'm job, nice argue with the lawyers from Viacom <laughs> about what constitutes fair use and harassment. Yep. <laughs> You're one of the finest legal minds I know. <laughs> yeah, they really they really enjoy having me around mm -hmm. when I say technically it's <laughs> It's not it's not child pornography <laughs> because the baby's penis isn't hard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's an yeah. instructional video. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, by Irvin Muchnick. That's this guy's name. Irvin Muchnick. That yeah, Irvin yeah. Munch dick. Yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah, maybe now I'm he's going to murder his I'm family I'm and I'm kill himself yeah, too. Just, come on. Yeah. He's a loose mm, cannon. It's me, Irvin. Ooh, is it's that a me, dick? The, the loose cannon of being gay. <laughs> <laughs> Irvin Munch dick. <laughs> he's a real loose asshole. Take that, Irvin, you fucking bitch. Uh, All right, let's go. Let's start this. What, what, what's he say? What's Irvin say? Um, okay, Chris he's, Benoit. He's reading. Oh, oh, yeah, here we go. Time. Grow up. You're 40. This is a. The, it opens with a text message to, uh, or from Nancy to Chris. Oh, oh, grow up. Bitch. You're 40 years old, for mighty sakes. Get off this stuff. It's obvious I'm probably not the only one who can see you. And you both know the WWE wellness program is a joke. Damn. Chris Benoit text message. The scandal isn't what's illegal. It's it's what's legal. I don't know who Michael Kingsley is. I share an unintended badge of honor. This is the forward by Phil Mushnick. Phil his Munch brother, dick, his brother who also munches dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is, about, Fucking this is more about... But, what? <laughs> the fuck is this? this? Now it's all about his stupid last name. Boo. A Staten Islander. Or when Mushnick became Mushnick. Irv was living in New York. Oh, you're reading the about the author. No, I'm reading the sample. Why is this included in the sample? Damn, dude. dude that's fucking bullshit. Never trust a munch dick. All right, let's get let's get into it, please. What are, what, you guys remember Butt Munch? That was a good-ass childhood. That was. Yeah. Introduction to the digital <laughs> edition. The dick, the digital ad affection. All right, hold, don't let me leave me hanging here, guys. The dick, the dick, the dick, <laughs> dick, gentle <laughs> ass function. <laughs> no, I got it. I got it, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw nice. me the ball a little just, bit. ISO for me. Here comes the second This is like that unit. scene in Cliffhanger where he's like just barely <laughs> hanging on to the wire. By a thing. Oh, faggot. <laughs> dick munch. <laughs> Don't let go. <laughs> yeah, okay, gay, uh, er, er, yeah. Suck ding. 
All right. What's, God damn it. <laughs> Adam, what are you looking up? The entire sample. I'm looking, of... for, I'm looking up another Chris Benoit book. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Fuck it. We don't need the books. <laughs> we'll make up our own goddamn story. All right. All right. So he's in the... You so know, from what? Just from that The sample. Bowflex thing. You know, now, we, the, the conflict we have to establish is between him and his wife, Nancy. Yeah, well, to me, it Nancy, sounds like already she's a 350 egg. pounds. Mm-hmm. Black one. Mm-hmm. You know? Hold on. We got the... I think I don't, your phone is on a, co- a cord or something. Oh. Is that better? Yeah, it's better. It's over now. Nancy Benoit. Stav. DJ Stavros on the Let's see what this woman looks like. Twos. What kind of dispute are they having at home? She's making lunch for the kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, she was a professional wrestler, too. Oh. Oh. Um... I don't, All right, know, so I don't she, know if I want that detail in there. So no, let's, make let's get her, rid of that. Let's make her a uh, theoretical physicist. Mm, mm, I like perfect. that. Because we contrast the two types brains of brains. Brains and brawn. Yeah. So she's it's she's brains. at the forefront of science. She was raped mm. by Neil deGrasse Tyson in the 1990s. <laughs> yeah. She's the woman then, that was raped yes, by him? And okay. that's why nobody knows who she is. And she had to uh-huh. marry a mental retard. Uh-huh. Was, yeah. yeah. So she's living a quiet life in hiding. Quiet high. life, yeah. hiding from the science world, but quietly doing science in yeah, the yeah, attic. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, what she, if Neil deGrasse Tyson was Where the attic where she lives, everyone. because it's the only place in the house that's not filled with uh-huh. exercise equipment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think we got a fucking... Uh, the sec- the, the gunman uh-huh. on the grassy knoll, Neil deGrasse Tyson, to cover up. His I like rape, that. Yeah, is actually the one who Crippler Cross faces her. To that's death. what that's what Chris Benoit is quietly dealing with. He's piecing together the fact that his wife was raped by Neil deGrasse. Tyson. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so he's got like in the basement. He's got a whole like setup, yeah. like with like. Uh, strings and like uh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. coming all up with like shit. this who it's raped my wife just all the arms of the Bowflex lead oh, to different yes, people yes, yes, wow Carnegie yeah. Mellican University uh, astrophysics and he department. has to lift his weight and he has solution. to lift the strings <laughs> together <laughs> mm-hmm. okay all right this is, this is coming so together he gets nicely. home from the Bowflex store and she's like where have you been and he was like I was just at a bar drinking and she mm. was like let me see your phone he's like I don't want to show you my phone I've just been I've been getting drunk all day during the day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she was like, you were at the Bowflex store again. Wasn't you? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, get off my fucking ass. You don't know everything I'm doing right. for you. She's like, doing for us? What? You Just because you put food on the table? He's like, I do a hell of a lot more than that. And at the time, we're on her side. Because mm-hmm. we don't know that he's solving her rape with exercise. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I see. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yes. So, so we initially mm-hmm. we just said because people know the story. People know he murdered mm-hmm. his family. So he has to look like they a think villain they at first. Story. Mm-hmm. And then as as we peel back the layers, he becomes a more sympathetic character. Mm-hmm. As we remove weights from the stack. Yes. As mm-hmm. a, and that's what the title card should be. It's like yes. people's names and then different settings on the Bowflex yes. lowering. Yes, a notch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, as we get more and deeper into the mm-hmm. story. So you, I really you like also, that. I'm going to be directing it as well. Okay, I perfect, think perfect. I think like something that could really <laughs> add to this project is if we have a lot of... Uh, Let's dialogue, that, dialogue, free scenes. Let's get that Ching just, Chong guy that did True Detective. Yeah, we could sure. have him. Mm-hmm. What's his name? Uh, Kopasachi Yamaguchi. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That yeah. guy. He's he, yeah. Tara Lachansky or whatever. <laughs> um, uh, hi, okay, hi, we have Hideki, a lot of Hideki Yamaguchi. <clears throat> we need a lot of dialogue free, like sort of with just only like a kind of a hard rock. Uh, dun, dun, soundtrack dun, 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 dun. of men just getting ripped. Well, it has Working to be, out, you know what it has to be is moments, getting strong. Moments, moments where we're seeing the old Chris come through have to be under underlined uh, mm-hmm. by hair metal because yes. it always has to dial back to the 1980s. Motley Crue. Right. Mm-hmm. All kind Motley of excesses crew. that led to... In fact, yeah. right. we should get Tommy Lee on board. Yeah, the Quiet ne- Riot. Yeah. Oh, quiet Riot's good. A lot yeah, of Quiet yeah, yeah, Riot. Yeah. 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 Come on, suck my dick. The, the 80s Come were kind on, of like when steroids were king, right? Yeah. Girls, that was like a hot... I mean, you know what? But we only hear it We only hear it when Chris is driving around in his 1997 era star listening to Quiet Riot mm-hmm. on cassette tapes. Mm-hmm. Yes. So it will, will, it'll, it'll wow. you know, that satch, Quiet Riot saturates the scene where he's storming out of the house mm-hmm. after the argument with his wife and then mm-hmm. it, it dials back where it's just on the cassette while he's mm-hmm. driving. Mm-hmm. And what that symbolizes is is that Chris's memories of like the glamour of the 1980s saturate his entire existence. Mm-hmm. And he can't see that it's destroying his life when ultimately it's a very small, low-fidelity part of what's yes. going on in the world at large in his era star that's 
filled That's with yet world. another Bowflex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He said that Aerostar has, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> has two Bowflexes in there. He's addicted, literally, to buying <laughs> Bowflexes. <laughs> yes, yes. He gets That's his real problem. It's not the steroids. Mm -hmm. It's the Bowflex And addiction. then Nancy, yeah, yeah. or whatever the fuck her name is, well, she can't help herself. She's, she, it's been too long without science. Yeah. So mm -hmm. then she goes, she sneaks back into the fucking the observatory. The, yeah. The observatory. Well, she's, she's sneaking chemicals into his food to try and kill him, but she's accidentally making Oxycontin. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh. So she's going to get chemicals, and then she bumps into who does she see? Macho Man Randy Savage. Macho Man Randy yep. Savage. Yeah. <laughs> and in, in I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy, <laughs> I gotta tell you, I've never, yeah. sorry, I've never told anyone. And now no, she's not. she's burdened by this fact. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. She's holding Macho yeah. Man's secret. Macho yeah. Man's like, uh, I gotta tell you something. <laughs> I was also raped by Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> oh my God! So they're in sort of a sister. That's got to be like episode four of five. Survivor. Yeah, That's yeah, when yeah, the yeah. show really falls off. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> tied up. They're like but the they pilot was up. good, and then, yeah, and the lawyer's hiding drugs in her pussy. I thought they would just be gay together. Yeah. Anyways, back to work. Yeah. Right, sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. We took sorry. enough of a break. Okay. All right. So, so Macho Man Macho Randy Man's Savage getting raped by Neil deGrasse. No, no. But sister. we got we got to figure out what happens in Act One that lets us know that this is only going to end with him murdering his family. Um, okay, well... Or is that necessary because people already know the end? No, well, I think... Wait, 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 wait. Didn't Neil... I think Neil deGrasse Tyson killed him, dude, in ours. Twitch. Also, we should go back you and think rewrite the cold flag. open. The cold open has flag. to start with, you know, him sitting down at that Bowflex and he's got blood and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Adderall glued to his face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or the 911 call. Uh -huh. Do we go 911 call? Because mm -hmm. what are we trying to say with the opening? No, no, no. I, I, I think you're right. I think you have him Not sitting at the both we don't, We'll never know his motivation. You so have, have to know our motive. No, but what we know, well, we, we see a shadowy figure at the Bowflex. And everyone will assume. A shadowy figure? No. And everyone will assume. How did you get this job? Chris Benoit, dude. You but it's have actually, Chris Benoit. He's put on the quiet right in his house. We know it's, yeah, we know it's We know Chris it's the Chris Benoit, Benoit okay, so show. Okay, okay, but how about, I still think Neil deGrasse Tyson should brainwash him with science. All right, but beyond he's that. He's the ultimate villain. That you, want, you don't want to disclose that. I know, but I'm saying we yeah. from keep the that job. You know, what it, you, wanna, you know what it is? You want to have we that. We need to keep you know that. What, in no, mind. no, it's, right. the, it's the police officer seeing the crime, and one cop's cleaning this up, mm -hmm. and then one guy's like, "Yeah, this guy's like a like a wrestler or something," and then the other guy's like, "Yeah, I, I used to be into this shit when I was a kid," mm -hmm. uh, and then that's. And that's he's the greatest. Back. He's the go greatest goddamn wrestler then, that ever lived. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. we go. Yeah. <laughs> and then we go back to his childhood. Yeah, I love that. In in the Alabama Canada. of Canada. Yeah, whatever yeah. that is. Uh, the Canada uh, South. It's Winnipeg. Hot. It's Georgia, Canada. What is it? Yeah. What's the place? Calgary. Calgary. It's Shreveport, yeah. Canada. The cowboy part. <laughs> the cowboy part of Canada. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So he's like running through the forest. He's chopping down trees yeah. and stuff. Sort of that. Like drinking that, beer. That South rocky. will rise. South Canada yeah. will rise well, again. He's yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, right. Some maple leaf in the yeah, middle yeah. of a Confederate flag. That's right. You know, and he's Maybe, muddy. Ooh, how about this? He accidentally kills his little brother doing a crippler crossface. That didn't happen. But we got we got a fucking. That's like the flash. That's the thing that's been that's haunting, been haunting him, him forever. His entire life. Well, you do yeah. need something like that exactly, in his childhood. Exactly, exactly. Something that he's been running from his entire uh -huh. life. No, you know what we flash back to? The first time he has like a concussion and the doctor's like. You yeah, can't do. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's what you flash back. Right. To okay. Right. Yeah, I agree. And, and so it has so to wait, be. And from that flashback, no, and it has to flash be, back even more. But, but the be, doctor. I think the whole thing should be a series of flashbacks. Mm -hmm. The doctor is Will Smith doing African voice from the movie the Concussion. Yes. yes, yes you yes. got it. You got to wait, wait, throw back. Why, to why you do this to your head? <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you going to make your noggin feel bad? <laughs> I am a doctor who has taken the time to do a little research into what homosexuals do in the privacy of their own bedroom. <laughs> they have a practice called anal feasting, yeah. where one man's hand is inserted into another man's rectum, and, and, and it's so take, painful they have to take drugs. drugs. <laughs> and then Vince McMahon. Like, My favorite him. part of that video is that he found two bay in. <laughs> yeah, Pierre St. Pierre. What a great character that Adam doesn't know anything about. I wasn't there. Yeah, you weren't there. Yeah. That's right. You weren't fucking there, Nancy. I'm sorry. <laughs> you weren't fucking there. Oh, we going back to Benoit? Yeah, Nancy dude. Benoit. Okay. Come on, man. We're at work right now. We're at work. That's actually, what you want. This, we should actually write that. I think this actually would be That'd be, be a funny. fun treat for the Patreon if we write a whole five-act uh, Chris uh, Benoit saga. Chris Benoit saga. So it's just a movie. Uh, no. Oh, no. Five-act story structure for like a television An hour-long drama. Yeah, yeah, okay. We'll write the yeah. pilot. And All then right. I'll write yeah. a little treatment up for the whole series. And mm -hmm. then, you know what? We could probably actually pitch it. 
<laughs> Why not? But it has yeah. to be Why Neil deGrasse Tyson. I mean, you, if you could go look at some of the dumbass emails I've sent to my manager with bad <laughs> ideas in it, this one not not particularly. I don't. Yeah, shitty. I don't. I, and listen, we're passionate about the project. We're passionate yeah. about exercise. Yeah, we're passionate about this, getting the story out there. And we're coming up on the the ten year or the uh, twelve year anniversary, which is technically the amount of time you have to wait before you can uh, yeah develop a project like this. Yeah. before nostalgia begins. Right. Exactly. I yeah. mean, it was yeah, it was eleven years ago. All right. Um. So yeah, I mean, I, I figure we sell it now. Mm-hmm. It'll probably be shot. And then ready to air next year. Right. At 12 years, it's vintage. It's vintage. 12 years. Can I be Neil deGrasse Tyson in blackface? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm going to be Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> yes. Hell yeah. Oh, dude. I miss I, him every day. I know. R.I.P. R.I.P. Anyway, okay. I think there needs to be a central conflict in their relationship where Chris is lying to her about something, which is his Bowflex and, te- and steroid addiction. And she's lying to him about something. And she's it can't been just reading, be the she's been reading books again. She's, she's doing been, science. She's been doing science. She's doing again. science in, in, in private. Mm-hmm. And he mm-hmm. said and he said she's like uh baby, I'll keep you safe. You gotta you gotta promise me you'll never do science again because yeah. when you do science you get raped. And then and then oh, well he doesn't know she got raped. But then also the, ba- the he doesn't want his son around gay ass books. That's true. He wants his son to be strong working out and not gay. That's right. And his son has been reading. Super he catches his son reading. Check this out, dude. So uh <sighs> Chris Benoit's real life wife, what's her name? She <laughs> used to be married to another wrestler named uh, uh, Kevin Sullivan. Uh, Who's that? Sully and Ke- Kev- some guy. Kevin was, Nash. Kevin no. Sullivan, and uh, he, he designed. He, he his rival was Chris Benoit, and in the serious? wrestling world, he was like, "What if we had a storyline where you leave me for Chris?" And, and then they kidding? fell in yeah. love. And then in the nineteen nineties, they so Nancy, who wrestled under the ring name Woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bitch. Would, would, would leave him for Chris Benoit and, she, and Sullivan insisted that the two should travel together, share hotel rooms and hold hands in public to preserve the... Uh, the Are you kidding? Yeah. That and is then, the and most romantic thing. Fucking. Well, I mean, he, that's that is a him. beautiful That is a beautiful love story. He was just right trying there. to get out of it, dude. There's no way. He knew yeah. what he was doing. He's like, what if you fuck my friend? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He knew that. Once you get that mongoloid Canadian charm, dude. We got to have that in the movie, though. That's good. Yeah, that's got to be in there. Because but it's got to be I guess they, he died as friends. All so right. are we scrapping this whole science thing and making her a wrestler? No, no, no. no, no, no. Okay. She's, yeah, well, but we can just bounce back and forth because we're, you know what we're also going to do? Do it from Chris's perspective, so uh-huh. none of it's going to make any sense because he has brain damage. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be an unreliable yeah. narrator. Ooh, yeah. I like that. Uh, you know me; I'm a huge fan of Faulkner, so mm-hmm. we're gonna we're gonna do it Faulkner style. Faulkner style. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You like Faulkner? I like Faulkner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I like that. That's it's a, smart. It's a book. Maybe we can work it's that. A book. Yeah, Faulkner. Maybe it's, we can open. It's how about a lot this? of characters. Well, he catches his son reading Faulkner. No, opening like, scene. What is that? Faulkner? Opening scene. That's is good. Yeah. is the murder scene, right? Uh huh. And very graphic. Very you graphic. See everything. And they were painting blood over. spraying. <laughs> blood spraying out of the Bowflex onto a bookshelf. Too yes. much blood. And then all the it's the bookshelf from the Danzig home. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. yes. So it's like vampires. spooky books. True stories about how Jesus was goth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. werewolves yeah, yeah. and mm-hmm. how to jack off to them. Like those books. <laughs> yes, yes. And yes. then also a copy of The Sound and the Fury. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. The splashes on that. Then we have a flashback. Uh-huh. You know, we're in mm-hmm. Mississippi. Second flashback. Yeah, we're in Mississippi. Double flashback. William Faulkner at his typewriter. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like it. It's a Fa- hot day. William Faulkner, very similar to Chris Benoit. Uh-huh. And we, we draw a parallel between Chris Benoit and William this. Faulkner. Mm-hmm. And then it's really not even a show about Chris Benoit anymore. Mm, it becomes about... It's about an art- artistry. It's it about f- what about great Americans. Mm-hmm. Was it with- Faulkner writing like while he had a fucking like, uh, job at a, at a fucking factory and shit? Did my man write that big ass book he did while at a factory? What are you talking? I don't about? know. What's like the most famous book he wrote? Oh, I don't know. What do you do? East of Eden or no? No, that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, not Faulkner. It's not Faulkner. It's Steinbeck. Steinbeck. Um, he had one big ass book. What did he Faulkner do? Faulkner is uh, Absalom, Absalom, a light in August, sound of the fury, sound of the fury. Um, mm. as I lay dying. Yes, as I lay dying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was also an emo band. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. True. I think he wrote that shit at, while he was had a factory job. Okay, so flashback, William Faulkner, he's in the factory. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and his manager, 
is a Cajun man mm -hmm. named Pierre Benoit. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, we don't know yet. Is Chris Benoit's great grandfather? Uh, great, great, great grandfather. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Because his uh, Chris Benoit's father was twelve when he had him. Yeah. And he comes from a long line of men that only they give birth at twelve years old. Mm, the men give birth. <laughs> yeah. So it's, even though it's only. 60 years prior, yes, 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 70 yeah, years yeah. prior, or whatever. That's There's already a time for five generations. generations of <laughs> right. yeah. To move to Canada yeah, yeah. and lose their Cajun accent and just mm -hmm. become Canadian rednecks. Right. That's good. I love that. Anyways, I think that's. We got the first half of the first half. I mean, yeah, this that's enough is work a pretty for good today. No, it's not enough work for today, but we certainly, you know, we've made some progress. I now think we just need we'll to figure out how the next podcast, I think. Are we out of time? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So, so Pierre Saint Benoit. Or yeah. Why are you always trying to take a break? Are you trying to have a career in the entertainment industry? Yeah, right. Man. Okay. Third right. flashback. Well, you know what? You know, first of all, there's a lot of agents and managers that listen to this show. Uh -huh. That's a fact. Yeah, that's a that is true. Hollywood industry listen. favorite. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They yeah. Need to, These are the yeah. industry traits. They need to know that we have the kind of work ethic that will allow us exactly. to get jobs. Exactly. We can't give up on an idea on the next after season of minutes. Bosch, which is You're what right. I'm angling for. <laughs> I want to write for Bosch. I'm trying to write for Roseanne. I'm trying to write for Bosch. Which, and this is about me, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's mm -hmm. fine. I respect that. So, step one, what is Bosch? What is yes. that show about? I, don't, I still don't what know. What is anyone it? Know? Tools. Who has any idea? Yes, I think it's tools. tools. I think he's a detective who may or may not... Is it not, like a new monk? May or may thing? not be named Bosch. <laughs> he's probably named Franklin Bosch. and Bosch? It'd be funny Franklin if... Franklin and Bosch, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everybody has a detective named, like, Eric Smith, and then the show's just called <laughs> Bosch for some reason. <laughs> and they never explain why it's called Bosch. And then you find out that's what Neil deGrasse Tyson, uh, the type of jigsaw uh -huh. he used to cut off <laughs> Chris Benoit's <laughs> wife's dress. <laughs> <laughs> he cut her dress off mm -hmm. with the jigsaw before raping her. That's right. Uh -huh. In space school. In, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in, in planet in, school. In the planetarium. In dude. saying things are different sizes than they are. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's what you learn in space. So school, okay, right? so you go flashback Carnegie Mellon University, Cleveland, Ohio. Mm -hmm. She's a young co-ed. Mm -hmm. He is a professor. He says, "I want I want you to meet me after class." She and goes what year to his is office. Nineteen sixty-one. Nineteen sixty-one. Nineteen sixty-one. Fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She goes to his office. He's shirtless. So back, and, back in background, we're hearing rock and roll. Yes. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because metal isn't around yet. No. One o'clock. So one o'clock. Two o'clock. Three, three o'clock. Five o'clock. Six o'clock. Eight o'clock. Nine. All the numbers. Nine o'clock. Ten o'clock. Twelve o'clock. Eleven o'clock. Thirteen o'clock. There's a lot of numbers. On the clock. <laughs> <laughs> rape, rape, rape. You're about to get raped. <laughs> but they yeah. don't think that's yeah. the time. She's like, what's happened to me? And he's like, they don't have a name for this yet. <laughs> it right. hasn't been invented. <laughs> they don't know. This is called having sex still. <laughs> Out of when you're doing something wrong, actually. <laughs> me, I'm just... Boys will be boys. <laughs> is what it's called. <laughs> yeah. On the chart, so boys men. will be boys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're trying to Grant. send men to the moon. <laughs> what are you doing? Complaining? This is why they shouldn't let girls in space school. Here at Carnegie Mellon. Mm -hmm. Home of space. Mm. <laughs> Hell yeah, we get we get a jacked guy to play young Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah, too. and he has a bass guitar. We get Terry Crews. Of course. <laughs> you know he's doing that titty thing that he does. Absolutely. Everyone loves it Absolutely. when he does that titty flex Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. One hundred more than yeah, we do also have to license one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock rock. No matter how much the estate of Elvis asks. Was for. that Elvis? One o'clock, so. two. So, flashback to her rape. Then flashback, <laughs> North Carolina, nineteen eighty one, WWF wrestling, uh, like combine training institute, whatever. Ric Flair is. is running the combine. You got mm -hmm. all these young. That's cool. So it's like a first class, like X Men yeah, first yeah. class. You all the all guys, young versions. All the guys are like, you know, seeing how much they can bench press, doing the forty yard or whatever. Right, right. And then in the back corner. We see uh, uh, some nerds right. and they're rolling out this like thing under a tarp, and all the wrestlers are like, "What the fuck is that?" And they're like opening it up, and it's a bow flip. Oh, <laughs> it's the it's first like the bow first flex. Flex. It's, it's the first bow flex. And, and I saw where you were going Chris, with that. Chris Benoit like is like it. just leaning over a squat rack, and he's like, "That's stupid." You know? <laughs> he's like, "That's the gayest <laughs> thing yeah. I've ever seen." You know, and they're like, "Boom." 
crazy times we're living in, you know? Mm -hmm. And they're like, mm -hmm. this is actually the future. He's like, do you want to try it? Yeah. And then the first time you see him use a Bowflex. No, he's, he makes fun of the scientist. But then he sneaks back in later that night. He makes night. fun of the scientist. And he's like, no scientist will ever own me in any way yeah. whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And then he finds out years later that his right wife was raped uh, by him. Oh, because he, so he hates scientists. Oh, that's the own. Guess who, <laughs> guess who the scientist is? <laughs> who is it? A young Neil deGrasse Tyson. Oh, oh, he's the one who made both. Before he put on the makeup. That's, uh. That is the link. Oh, the young that white the Neil deGrasse Tyson. Oh. Wow. That is the lick. He has reverse vitiligo. Yeah. He becomes black. <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson. I can think of a better name for reverse vitiligo. But I'm going to say it. <laughs> oh, fuck. This is really coming together, boys. I like it. Okay, yeah, so Neil deGrasse Tyson both raped his wife and invented, invented the bow flex. flex. <laughs> which is... <laughs> <laughs> Which is the thing that he has developed this crippling addiction to. <laughs> See, it's the steroid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is going to be a good ass show, dude. This is going to be so good, dude. This is going to be the best show that anyone's ever watched. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Who knew Neil deGrasse <laughs> <laughs> was the villain in Chris Benoit's mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think about casting for, for Benoit? Dream casting. Budgets, no. Uh, budgets. That, that fat uh, Matt Damon. That fake Matt, Matt Damon, yeah. He'd yeah, be yeah. perfect. And he's in all that oh, kind Landry. of shit. Oh, Landry. What's his name? Fat Matt Damon. What's his name? He was in... Uh, Somebody, if he, if he listens to the show, please reach out to us. We would love to cast you in our Chris Benoit story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which <laughs> From is like Friday Night wink, Lights. Wink, shit, right? unwink. <laughs> <laughs> about me. <laughs> it's about this right, crime about that Nick you. is actually going to be committing. <laughs> so we don't have to license this story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if Fat Matt Damon is listening, whatever your stupid ass name is. Wasn't he in Breaking Bad? He was in Breaking Bad. Todd. He was in Breaking Bad yeah. and, and uh, Friday Night Lights. And Fargo. And Fargo. Was he in Friday Night Lights? Which Fargo, which was the best show on TV yeah, the last the four years prior to the Chris Benoit story yep which is going to be the We're best coming for you motherfuckers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's like my dick billy bob thornton in yeah. the first season so what's so he's going in the first wrestling match right his first right. he's at the combine and that's where he makes friends with kevin sullivan yes uh -huh. and uh kevin sullivan we have like, to change it he's got to be oh, kevin, kevin sullivan's his best friend yeah. kevin sullivan yeah. what will be kevin sorbo it should be Eddie it's kevin sorbo oh, who's yeah. a wrestler because and kevin sorbo who you're been, allowed to use because he's a christian and he has the been Bible locked out of hollywood domain. exactly so you're allowed to any christian person is allowed probably you can do their story Ooh, so let's get um what's his face uh, kurt cameron kurt cameron yeah but, kevin sorbo so we no, get Kirk he, Cameron to play Kevin Sorbo. Kevin Sorbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, I, I see what you're saying. So yeah. Kevin Sorbo walks up and he introduces him, Chris Benoit, to his wife. This is my wife, Nancy, who hasn't been raped yet, by the way. Yep. Kevin and Chris is like, she hasn't been raped. And then he, they kind of have like a moment where he falls in love with her because she's not a rape victim. Mm -hmm. So she's yeah, still she's perfect. pure. She's yeah. still pure. Mm -hmm. And then uh, she's like, I just got to go back into the stock room to get more steroids where that scientist is you know oh it happens like, then and there maybe it doesn't happen then but no you know what it's probably too early for that to happen the no. rape no you want no, to I thought it happened at Carnegie Mellon because you know where we find out that it's that the, the Bowflex guy is Neil deGrasse Tyson it has to be the end of the episode where we see that guy putting on blackface mm -hmm. makeup for some reason <laughs> At the end of episode like four or five, yeah. that'd be people watching at home. Go, yes. Oh shit! Yeah. yeah, damn! I can't wait for next week. Yeah, he just looks exactly <laughs> like Neil deGrasse Tyson when he's white. I'm like, oh, that guy looks kind of weird, and then he puts the black face on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa. That's that's a, <laughs> dude, this is like Vince Gilligan level it's shit. Yeah. Good, and then bro, people on dude. Twitter are going to be like, what's going to happen next week? You know, it's going to be going to have the whole audience like, mm -hmm. yeah, debating Chris, and arguing. Chris Hardwick, hey, you're here and talking Benoit. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't, you know. I what's really up, can't nerds? We're talking Benoit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When it turned out the Bowflex salesman was also mentally retarded <laughs> and then he could, re he spoke a language. Which only Chris understood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So, so then have, you want to take it back to modern day, right? 
Uh, no, because it's got to, we got to like, I shouldn't oh, go back we got to go way back and then work, no, our, yeah, way work our way up, up to the murder. Career. So okay. he just sort of meets her. He's in his first wrestling match or mm -hmm. whatever. And there has to be something that happens in the first wrestling match where it shows his promise, mm -hmm. but then also him getting fucking dinged in the noggin. Yeah, he, well, ah, he's, he yes. doesn't, he doesn't have his character down, right? Yeah. He's ashamed of being French Canadian. Yeah. He's afraid afraid He's of his like, French ass hey, last night. I do not want people yeah, yeah. to think <laughs> yeah. to think I'm a retard. Yeah, they retired. <laughs> yeah, so he comes up with like a and one of, yeah, one of the other wrestlers is like He's like, dude, I used to have an accent too. I'm actually from Turkey. You know? yeah. And he's like, what I found that works is I hit my, I smash a hammer mm -hmm. into my forehead. Yep. And make it talk normal. It makes me talk. <laughs> makes yep. me talk normal. Yeah. 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 He was like, I don't know. If they, <laughs> so then Chris Benoit tries. He's like, oh my God, it works. It's like yeah. doing poppers, basically. Wow. And wow. they are also doing So he also, also gets into their asses poppers. are so wild. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's really into poppers and smashing himself in the head with a hammer to get rid of his French Canadian accent. Okay. We got to have a scene where he tries the Bowflex total gym at Well, that's home. what happens. He doesn't win this first match because his range of motion isn't good enough. Mm. And his character is bad. Too. No, I think he has to win the first match. That's too much. That's too much going on for the first episode. He can't also okay. not I win. I thought this was like episode four. No, no, no. We're still... No, we're on still episode one. We're still, we're still on still act, act one. We're in act one. one. Yeah, yeah. We, have, we, have, we, have, we, have, we still no haven't landed on a cold <laughs> open This is a dense show. That's what you're saying. Oh, yeah. There's a lot happening. Hey, man. You want to be a big boy? You want to you want to be a real big, mm -hmm. big boy television you want writer, to be David Chase. This is the kind of work we do. Okay, well, forty-five minutes a day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm already out of Lacroix. Breaks. I'm ready for another one. I think you know what, and this will be a risk, but I think we should give Roseanne a cameo. In the I think so yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. The thing is that you have she so many actors Vader. because of liberal mm -hmm. Hollywood who have been blacklisted. Kevin Sorbo's one of them. Oh, you know what we should do? Roseanne's one I'm of gonna, them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Tim get, Allen's another one I'm of them. I'm gonna get my people out to John Milius to write the uh, the the speech. He's right wing too. The speech that Chris Benoit gives before killing his son with wrestling. You gotta <laughs> get Milius in the room. Milius will do that. Yeah, he Mil I, that I'm shit. I've known him for years. <laughs> yep. Do it. We gotta have David Mamet in the Five, room. 500 men went into the water, Chief. How about we just use John Milius' speech from Jaws? Perfect. I think that's fine. And then we can credit him as the writer of the show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Well, option I'll from John from the mind no. that brought you John. <laughs> we don't even have to do this. Sorry for having written such, by John Williams. Sorry for having such a sinister <laughs> speech from Jaws <laughs> before he kills his son. <laughs> You know how you tell that chief? You tell by looking from the tail to the dorsal fin. <laughs> they got black eyes, lifeless eyes, like a doll's eyes. You know what? You don't have to pay him if you just say the speech in real life. Then you quote me. You quote yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Let's do a video of me saying the speech. <laughs> we just need a but video of you. Said. Yeah, but just by chance. No, I you just it. came up with it because they have to prove that I've seen Jaws. How? Did Which I, you haven't. You haven't. I haven't seen. For fact, the record, I don't even you know have what not. it is. I've yes. never even heard of John. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know who John Milius is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've I've never. <laughs> John Milhouse? What are you talking about? Milhouse. Richard from the Simpsons. Simpsons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Milhouse from the yeah, Simpsons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't know. Um, did I ever tell you <clears throat> guys the story of the USS Indianapolis? No, no I haven't heard that. Yeah. No, what? uh, what's the story? Uh, you know, they were on a, a, a mission to bring uh, the atomic bomb to the Enola Gay. Whoa. Wow. And so it was a mission so secret that when the... Uh, uh, a Japanese torpedo boat hit mm -hmm. the Indianapolis. No distress signal went out. Damn. And so 500 men went into the water. Oh, my God. And mm -hmm. it took two days before uh, the rescue boat showed up. Mm -hmm. and, That's uh, crazy. Uh, tiger sharks showed up. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. And they got lifeless eyes. <laughs> like what? Like black. A, black eyes, like a doll's eyes. What? What? And then when they sink those teeth into you and those black mm -hmm. eyes roll back white mm -hmm. and there's something about the screaming is horrific. Mm -hmm. I yeah. know. I'll have to go find a transcript from Jaws. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> from the story that you... From the, the thing that I'm saying right yeah. now. The story yeah. you heard. Spontaneously. Spontaneously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the word for word thing I'm saying now. Exactly. By chance might exist mm -hmm. elsewhere. So that's how we can... Well, you wrote it down in your diary. 
That's, I'm telling you, dude. Maverick illegal department. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do our own legal on this project. <laughs> We're not sure. hiring any lawyers. The legal, the legal bad boy. <laughs> the legal evil. Stay tuned next week for Act Two of the Chris Benoit yeah, yeah. story. And every, and it's five every acts. week, a Netflix original. <laughs> it's five every acts. single week until they give us the show. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, that would be a fun project. We should sit down and and not actually do that. That would actually be pretty fun.